On the brink tonight is a delightful lady who combines the world of comedy with the world of magic to create her very own special kind of entertainment. This is the story of Judy Carter. The leading ladies of laughter, Lucille Ball, Martha Ray, Toadie Field, Joan Rivers. Only a handful ever make it to the top and fewer ever stay there. The latest attempt to join this team, Judy Carter. And now I'm going to saw a frog in half. She's zany. She's wacko. And oh, she's completely Robert. off the wall. Oh, female frog wrestling. Robin, stop it. God. Animals play an important part in her act, which oh. causes nothing short of chaos when she has to take her work home. Ah! Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. I hate working with animals. Don't you? Are you sure about this career choice? No, <laughs> actually, I'm not. I'm not. On the contrary, Judy is quite sure about her career, which was launched at age eight when she toured her Los Angeles neighborhood on the birthday party circuit. Well, when I was a kid, I started doing magic, and they didn't work. The tricks didn't work, and so they laugh at me. So I said, okay, I'll just be funny, I guess. I could be starving, and there was no way I'd ever do a stand-up. How do you get the nerve? It's frightening sometimes. It, it really is. But if you have an act, you know, you just do your act, and sometimes... You bomb, and <laughs> sometimes you do real well, and sometimes you do well to keep you going. Part of Judy's creative process is working out comedy with her longtime friend and writer, Cynthia Segetti, while the other part is working out high-level negotiations. You write me some jokes, and I'll buy you lunch. Lunch? Don't people that write for Joan Rivers and stuff get paid money? All right, $5 and a hamburger. But choosing material can be serious business as they read through what works and what doesn't. You know, every female comedian in the world talks about a breast. I don't want to talk about breasts. I don't want to make fat jokes about Elizabeth Kill. I don't want to be self-deprecating. What does that leave? Nothing. <laughs> I got an idea. I want to do impressions. But Jacqueline was set in the deep. What do you think? A lot of people say that comedians are, are laughing on the outside and crying on the inside. I don't know. I just think I'm like a normal person. I just get depressed like everybody else does. But what I do is I talk about depression on stage and it makes it funny, you know, like, like my whole routine about, um, you know, wanting to find a relationship. You know, I want to have children and how women at 30 start thinking about having children and men at 30 start thinking about dating children, you know, and that's a problem. It always confuses me, but somehow if you talk about it on stage and everybody goes, yeah, that's true. After spending an afternoon with Judy, I came to expect the unexpected. But when I got roped into assisting in her act, I knew she wasn't the only one who's a little crazy. All right, just relax. Trust me, this is a new one. Here we go. One. 